Hooray, hockey's back. Yeah, so, uh, that wasn't great now, was it? Uh, hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Rangers, and I'm here to talk about game one of the regular season where the Rangers lose 5-1 to the Washington Capitals and get absolutely pounded in our nation's capital. This was, uh, rough, to say the least. Now, I'm going to hit the brakes for a second, which is I'm going to say a few things. One, this is a new team. Right? A lot of changes in the offseason. We retooled the first line by moving some people up from the second line, so that changed a little bit. The bottom line is basically entirely brand new, and the third line has also changed a lot. We have a new third pair defenseman. We have a new coach and staff like that. We also have a new GM. So I was not really expecting to win the first game in Washington, especially when you're facing a team like the Capitals, which are fantastic, and even though they got bounced in the first round last year, were a playoff team. So I kind of expected to get beat, but I was hoping it would be close and would at least be entertaining. Like, I'm fine losing. I just would have liked to have seen any level of competence from the Rangers. That would have been that would have been nice. That's what that is what I'm looking for. G Willikers, gentlemen, where do you want to start? You want to start with the offense? It was pretty terrible. We got one goal tonight and it was off of a power play. It was a tip in by Kreider. Nice passing sequence. Great tip in by Chris Kreider. That's I mean, that's how he makes his living. So it was a nice goal. Which, hey, let's talk about the power play for us. It was bad. We got one goal out of it, and we still have the same issue from last year, which is we are passing the puck way too much on the power play, and we need to kind of just shoot the puck at the net. That's That would be nice to see, right? The final power play, which we actually finally started to do that on, we scored a goal. What are the odds? When you shoot the puck a lot, you kind of tend to score goals. That is a novel concept. I mean, it's not novel if you're the Capitals, who scored three power play goals tonight. Yeah, our penalty kill, which last year was the only reason we were relevant this season through one game, was uh, comically bad. Alex Ovechkin, man. I mean, he completely murdered the New York Rangers tonight. Two goals, two assists, four-point night for the grade eight, and it was a rough evening. Speaking of goals, let's talk about our goaltender. Alexander Georgiev started, which, first question... Why was it Georgiev and not Igor Shesterkin? And to my knowledge, there is not an actual answer about that other than reasons. I don't know why it was not Shesterkin. I was under the impression the entirety of today and, well, all of the offseason that Shesterkin would get the first game because, I mean, well, obviously it would be Shesterkin. And instead, Alexander Georgiev gets it and doesn't do that well. Now, was Alexander Georgiev good? No, but here's the big thing, right, with a game, um, bringing in everybody, we scored one singular goal all evening, so I'm kind of inclined to more so look towards the offensive side of things and not so much the goaltending side of things, because, well, one goal. Now, let's talk about physicality, because that was the name of the game going into this evening. So, Rangers dominated the physical play, right? 27 hits to 12. We were hitting and checking machines, which is really what we were supposed to be going into the season, right? We kind of expected, because of how much grit, grr, we got in the offseason, that we'd go into the season and be tough as nails, you know, all the other, uh, you know, lovely euphemisms we like to talk about when being grr, strong, and tough. And we saw tonight why that isn't exactly a great idea. So, if you want to look at this, we had basically two lines for, you know, real goal scoring with the top two lines. And then the bottom two have some goal scoring ability, but overall, not a ton there. They're mostly a lot of physical get up in your face and throw a check guys. Which, they threw a ton of hits. Sammy Bly tonight was insane. He was a checking machine. He also took, I believe, three minor penalties, which is uh, <laughs> not not what you not what you love to see. Very physical, very tough guy. But the penalties were a massive issue with the Rangers overall. But I'll get to that in a second. What I want to talk about is the bottom two lines, right? So players that were not on the top two lines, which I'm defining the top two lines as the first line being uh, Mika, Kreider, and Laffy, the second line being Panarin, Kako, and Strom. Not counting those two lines, or defensemen, because Fox had a ton of shots, uh, the bottom two lines for the Rangers had four of our 24 shots. So 20 of the 24 came from the top two lines or defensemen. That is laughable. 
It is great to be physical, and it is great to have grit and toughness, but when they can't actually even, not, not even score goals, but even really put pressure on the goaltender during that time, it's kind of pointless. Along with that, we also were horribly undisciplined. We gave them six power plays, and they were able to convert on three of them. And, I mean, it's bad enough giving up that many power plays, uh, but also doing that against a team like the Capitals, who are known for scoring on power plays, uh, specifically one person on the Capitals, known for it, uh, who scored two tonight. I mean, you, you just gotta not give them power plays. That They're going to kill you on them. Like, even if you remove everything else tonight, we still would lose just in general based upon the power plays because they scored three power play goals. That That's just bad. You're giving them a free win just based upon your own penalties and mistakes, and that's not gonna, that's not gonna go well. <sighs> so what are the positives, right? I was thinking about that. Uh, Mika was skating hard. He didn't have any shots, but he was going hard all evening. Fox looked solid. Uh, Semi Bly, again, was very physical, took too many penalties, but hopefully that can start to smooth over. Uh, the power play, the first few were terrible, but the last one was a very nice power play. Uh, we looked nice and physical, but again, that kind of isn't going to do much if your bottom few lines that are mostly meant for grit and toughness can't even get shots off. Kako looked good. He was very physical. Uh, there were a few times where the puck was near him. He was trying to contain it. There was a guy on him, and he was able to just shove him off. So that was nice to see. Uh, Lafreniere looked calm and collected. So, I mean, he didn't score or anything, but he looked solid. I mean, there was nothing bad with him. There were no turnovers or what have you. I mean, there were some good things, but this was a pretty rough evening for the Rangers overall. I mean, hey, we didn't get shut out like we did last year in the season opener, so that's a positive. Uh, you kind of just got to move on from tonight's game and start focusing on tomorrow because this is the first evening of a back-to-back. -to -back. Tomorrow we're going to play the Dallas Stars in Madison Square Garden at 7 p.m., and I would be completely astonished if anyone other than Igor Shesterkin is in net, so hopefully Shesty can lead us to the first victory of the season for the Rangers and rebound from tonight's not-so-fun evening with our home fans in the stadium. Anyway, I'll be here after that. I'm also in the process of the Astros and Red Sox uh, series preview, so if you're an Astros person, uh, that'll be probably out tomorrow. Or maybe late tonight, depending on how I feel. It, who's to say, really? But I am working on that, and it'll be out very soon. Anyway, that is all I have to say tonight. Uh, thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Rangers. Also, my cat was asleep in my chair, so that's why I did the video standing.